New reports of friction between President Biden and VP Harris. The latest claims from a new book detailing how Harris felt disrespected when White House aides would not stand for her as she entered a room like they normally would for Biden. And the vice president was reportedly furious over the photo that Vogue used when she was featured on the cover wearing Converse sneakers. But Biden's team told her to back down because it was, quote, a first world problem. <laughs> we don't have a ton of time, so I'm going to lead with the example I care about most, which is the Vogue cover. And I agree with her on this. I don't know, Dana, what you think. I don't. I, I don't. Here's the thing. She, she posed for the photograph in the outfit. Right. And now I know that they were, they were told, oh, yeah, we'll probably use the other one, whatever. They, maybe they felt they had assurances. But when you go, you don't control the editorial of a photo shoot. You don't. So if you don't want to be fil- you just want to be photographed wearing your sneakers on the front page of Vogue, don't wear them. Don't ever do it. And that, uh, you could blame her staff. If she wants to blame somebody else, don't blame Anna Wintour or whatever. She should blame her staff. If you want to look a certain way, you have to dress a certain way. The other thing is, I, don't, I was trying to remember. I don't believe that you stand for the vice president when he enters the room. I, know, I, don't, I love Dick Cheney. I don't believe we ever did. If it, was, if it was just him, if the president's coming in with him, yes, you do. But no, I don't think so. Judge? Couldn't agree more. If you don't want to be photographed in Converse and that pantsuit, don't put them on for the shoot. Don't pose for the shoot. Tell them I'm not wearing this. I've done right. that before. Just right. say, no, I'm right. not wearing this, okay? And nobody needs to stand up for you. You're not that important. That's enough. Well, <laughs> she's kind of important. She's like second well, most no, important but she, in the world. Nobody in the White House is standing up for her, and I'm, she's upset that they're not. I'm pretty sure they didn't stand for Joe Biden when he was vice president. Right? uh, Would you stand? No offense, Jessica, but this is when I wish Geraldo was here. Because at this point, he would go, when I was on the cover of Playgirl, and then they show the cover of Playgirl, he goes, I was shirtless, and I wore these leather chaps. I didn't want to wear the leather chaps, but I wore them anyway, but I didn't complain because it was a decision I made with the leather chaps. Well, good news. Geraldo will be back next week. (laughs) He can feature this story again, or he could go topless. Uh, Jesse. Thank you for putting Geraldo and leather chaps <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> yeah, no, but he's right. You know, you don't go nude for a photo shoot if you don't want your whole naked body on the cover of Vogue Tell or Playgirl. Yeah. And Anna Wintour's usually right. Isn't she always I right think, about think... everything? So you don't argue with Anna. My favorite thing about we this, though. I don't argue with Anna. The no. VP staff floated the idea of maybe starting to oversee relations with the Nordic yeah. countries. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe some low-risk <laughs> Nordic countries instead of the Nordic, the Northern Triangle. She wanted to go to Oslo and Copenhagen. You know, to start off slow. I saw that. She started with Nordic track. What, was, what were their issues that she was wanting to deal with? I don't understand that. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and apparently the White House laughed at that. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I still think that that photo should not have been on the cover, and it could have been embedded in the shoot. I thought, you know what? The other thing is, I would have owned it. It would have been like, I look good in Converse. Well, she does. I'm cool. But that's why to stop yeah. complaining. All right. Just own it. And she's on Vogue. Come on. Okay. Melania Trump was. One more thing yeah. is up next. Exactly. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.